Hey guys, RC back week two of the Premier League season and Leeds United have picked up their first three points of the season with a 4-3 to three victory at Ellen Road against fellow promotion side Fulham. Um, the three points is the good news and we continue to look threatening and create opportunity with our pressing style and that's about where we'll stop with the positives <laughs> so the negatives we were we were ahead four to one and end up drawing four three right it's very disappointing uh we gave up uh, another uh really bad penalty by a newcomer robin koch um, I've heard it pronounced a couple of different ways, uh, so just not to demonetize, which I'm not making money anyway, but, uh, you know, I don't want to get on uh, YouTube's bad side, so we'll just go with, uh, with Koch, but, uh, another, another really, really bad penalty on his part. I'm really going to attribute his lackluster performances to just being new and needing to get settled in, and it may take him a little while. The problem is, I don't know if we have a little while for him to get settled in. If he continues to concede penalties and struggle, it will not surprise me if Bielsa may at some point move to Pascal Stroyek, uh, the young 20, he's what, 21, 22 now? Um, Dutch player, he's looked really, you know, he's he looked a little shaky against Liverpool last week early, but he has really impressed me a lot. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, Koch is the is going to be the long term answer, and I could see Stroyek being the replacement to Liam Cooper down the road. But uh, anyway, that's getting far afield. Patrick Bamford. I, I had a feeling before we came into this season, you have to remember two years ago, he came into the season injured, and then he played behind Kamar Roof. And we have seen it takes a full season under Bielsa for the players to really adapt. We did very well Bielsa's first year, but we showed the collapse in the playoff against Derby. And that is a lot of that I think is, is mental, possibly some physical, but last year we did not, you know, we had a couple of hiccups, but we never really fell apart. Now I didn't expect a whole lot this year. My whole goal this year for, for Leeds is just to stay up but now we're seeing players, Cooper in his third year, Pablo, third year, Harrison, third year with Bielsa. Uh, Bamford was here the first year, but he didn't play a lot. So last year was really his first year, and he is showing really good movement. The assist he had today was stellar. I mean, he dropped all the way out to the wing on the left side where Harrison's normally at, and he beat a player on the dribble, showed a lot of pace, and then brilliant vision to lay the pass back to the edge of the box for Klitsch and Costa were in that area. Klitsch let the ball go through for Costa to have a wide open shot. Costa, same thing. First year, you know, we paid all this money to buy him from Wolves or, you know, to loan him in with the option to buy. And I don't think it's a stretch to say nobody was very impressed with him that first year. He looked better last year, but a lot of people, including Phil Hay, have been saying that the Premier League game might be better suited to Costa because more attacking uh, instead of sitting with eight, nine, ten people in the box. Um, giving him room to stretch his legs, to show his pace and acceleration. 
and his ball control. And he looked good last week against Liverpool, and he looked really good today against Fulham with uh, with two goals uh, and a lot of creativity. Rodrigo didn't look horrible, but again, like Koch, it's just going to take him time to settle in. They've got to reach Bielsa's fitness levels. They've got to learn the rotation and, and understand what Bielsa wants from the players in his, in his movement. And that's just going to come with time. And for him, it may not be this year. It may be next year. But as the season progresses, obviously Bielsa is going to give him playing time. Uh, a little worried about Pablo with the injury and warm-ups. Hopefully it's not too serious. But honestly, I think we might see Rodrigo starting and Pablo coming in like he did in the final nine games of last season. Uh, coming in as a substitute and working some magic and trying to unlock teams late in games. I thought the pairing of Bamford and Rodrigo looked pretty pretty good. Uh, you know, if you watched them in movement, in my opinion, uh, when when Bamford would drop off, you know, Rodrigo was always there moving up into the number 10 slot, uh, into the number 9 slot. And, uh, and they were really, they looked like they had a good partnership and working off of each other. And it really wouldn't surprise me if they just told Rodrigo, look, just watch Patrick. If he goes up, you stay back. If he comes back, you go up and then do what you do. Uh, that's probably just the best uh, course of action for him right now. <laughs> what Seven goals in two Premier League games. You've got to be ecstatic with that especially with one of those games coming in against Liverpool the loss of Ben White has been apparent and is going to be a huge hole I really have hopes that Robin is the answer I think he, he's obviously got a lot of talent and ability I mean he's a German you know international uh, playing for his national side, you know, at 24, he's he's capped. He, you know, he he is evidently a solid player. I haven't seen him. I don't watch Bundesliga, so I have not seen him until Liverpool last week. So I've seen some things that he's done. Um, just kind of flashing back last week with Liverpool, they had a two-on-one break, and Koch was the defender. And he was running between, and they were doing quick one-touch passing, but back and forth. And I forget who it was. It was um, I'm pretty sure one of them was Mane. I'm not sure if the other one was Salah or Firmino. Probably Salah. And Koch was doing a good job. If you watch that, go back and watch that. He was turning, but he never got turned around. And so he was always able to keep running at full pace and never let either one of those two players have a clear path to the goal uh, as they converged on the bo- on Melier in the box. And basically with Melier, made it a two-on-two situation and did not concede the goal. I thought that was stellar. I think a lot of defenders would get spun around or, or you know go after one of those players aggressively at some point and leave the other player with a clear one-on-one, clear chance. So I thought he did a really good job and, and showed a lot of te- technical ability. So I think that's something that we can look at. Hopefully he can build on that. Giving the penalties away is really concerning. And I saw him today coming off of the handball penalty last week. Saw him, you know, anytime that they would converge in the box, his hands were going behind his back. And I think that puts him in a little bit of an uncomfortable situation. So, you know, hopefully he can settle in and get just more fluid and settle into his game, and I think he'll be all right. The question is, can our defense survive long enough for that to happen? Uh, Cooper's back. Of course, Cooper did get beat on the uh, Mitrovic head ball today, uh, and that goes back to the problems we've had the last two years. Cooper's a little bit shorter, 
We've never had, you know, with with ever since Jansen left, we haven't had a lot of height on that back line, and it's made us susceptible to uh, set pieces uh, into the box and corners. So, you know, Mitrovic just overpowered him on the header. Uh, I think Cooper had great positioning, but the ball was in the right place, and Mitrovic just, you know, went up and, and was stronger and taller in that situation. Um, so again, you know, we gave away a bad penalty and, um, you know, really, I think they only had one really good goal out of the three. And that was the one that beat Melier to the back post. Um, and he, he might've been able to have a shot at that, but you know, I'm never, you know, unless it's an obvious flub by the keeper, I tend not to not to try to dump too much on them. Their job's very hard. But um, I was really encouraged by the movement of the ball. We looked a little rough early going, uh, a little shaky on our passing. I think Tyler Roberts coming in for Rodrigo helped out with that a lot. And, uh, you know, at 4-1, I thought that was a done deal, signed, sealed, and delivered. And, you know, fair play to Fulham for fighting back. Um We contributed a lot to that, but, um, you know, we hung in there, got the three points and that's the, uh, the takeaway. We've got some winnable games coming up. Um, man city of course is going to be a very rough one. Uh, again, I hope much like Liverpool, I want to just be competitive and not get blown out of the park. You know, I think a one nil two one, even a two nil loss, uh, against City would be something to, you know, if we play well, something to hang your hat on. And, you know, what we've got to do is we've got to take the points when we play Fulham's. Uh, we play um, – who do we play coming up? Yeah, Sheffield United and uh, Wolves, Aston Villa. So, you know, we've got to take points in in, in those three games. Uh, you know, either a draw or three points in the bulk of those games. We can't take losses. We've got to at least pull points. And if we can do that, I think we'll be safe this year. But again, very encouraged with the offensive attack. Concerned about the defensive side. But... We showed last year we're very strong defensively, and I think it comes down to that that center back pairing right now, and uh, just getting Robin Koch bedded in um, and settled at the club, and getting him used to how we play tactically, and getting him just where he could play naturally and not be reactive, and I think his game will improve dramatically. Fingers crossed, at least. Anyway, three points. Uh, So now we have three points from two matches, seven goals uh, scored, seven goals against, and uh, it's a good start to the Premier League season, in my opinion. Guys, we'll see you next week and uh, have a recap of that match as well. Take care. Bye.